Hi, I'm Tony Schrader, Chairman of the Putnam County Republican Party. And we're in Columbus again today, uh, catching up with some of our friends. We wanted to introduce you to one who's not in our area, but I think you'll find his story very interesting. It's good to be with you, Brian Stewart, Representative uh, for the Ohio 78th House District uh, currently. And he's got something interesting coming up. In fact, he's running for Congress. So we thought we'd catch up with him and let him tell us why. Brian, it's good to be with you. Chairman, today. it's good to be with you in the flesh. It's, know, it's a pleasure. I know you're from Twitter, but yes, uh, indeed. nice yeah. to be in the same room. We've followed each other online for such a long time that we've become friends. And uh, this is the first time we had a chance to get together. So Great. it's a real pleasure Great. to catch up with you today. So I just uh, I thought I'd introduce you to the folks in Northwest Ohio and uh, tell us a little bit about your background and then we'll talk a little bit about what you have coming up. So, sure. So, uh, you know, usually my story in public service really starts on 9-11. I was a senior in high school. I'd really not given a ton of thought to, to military service or public service, had kind of a different plan. And then that day, you know, really changed the course of our whole country mm -hmm. and uh, changed the course of my life. Mm -hmm. So uh, went to college for a year prayed at night, really just kind of said, you know, God really kind of put on my heart. I wasn't where I was supposed to be. And so uh, uh, I left college. I enlisted for active duty in the Army. I was uh, uh, active from 2003 to 2006, enlisted about a week before the invasion of Iraq, and, uh, and joined the infantry. Mm -hmm. And so uh, for all of 2005, I was deployed to the Sadr City area of Baghdad in Iraq, did combat patrols uh, uh, day in and day out for a year. And uh, then I made it home mm -hmm. when, uh, when friends did not. And mm -hmm. so that really kind of put on my heart a real uh, uh, call to continue to serve, to give back, to continue to uh, try to make the community a better place and to really earn uh, this extra chance at life that I've had for the last 15 years that unfortunately some of my friends uh, did not have. And so that's really what's kind of motivated me to, to come into this line of work. That's fantastic. You ran for the uh, commissioner's office in Pickaway County, one, and uh, some exciting things going on there. Tell us just a little bit about that time. Yeah, so when I came back, uh, you know, moved to Pickaway County, could have gone anywhere in the world, but m m my wife and I wanted to start a family there. It's a great place and uh, uh, had the privilege to be a county commissioner for two terms, uh, helped bring 2,700 new jobs to Pickaway County during those eight years, uh, quadrupled our rainy day fund, balanced budget every single year, never raised taxes. Uh, and build a brand new fairgrounds from scratch. Uh, Phenomenal. Which, you know, as a fellow rural county, mm -hmm. I mean, fairground is a big draw to your community. Right. It can be a real source of uh, community pride. And so uh, we were really privileged to, we built that project, $15 million new fairgrounds from scratch. Oh, that's phenomenal. And uh, rallied the community to support us, rallied the business community to, to buy in. Mm -hmm. And uh, being fiscally conservative and responsible, we're able to make those payments and it's been a fantastic thing. That's phenomenal. I saw some uh, photos of it uh, mm -hmm. from a post you had made recently and it is just magnificent. It's really wonderful to see. So what a great yeah. tribute to... I'd like to have you down someday. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you can count on that. No yeah. doubt about it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, from Pickaway County, opportunity arose to run for the State House. And uh, and again, you won. Uh, you're representing uh, the 78th District. Some of the initiatives you've been involved in have been pretty interesting there. What do you've got pending uh, in the State House now? So I represent six counties in Southeast Ohio, one mm -hmm. uh, most number of counties of any district. We had a, we had a competitive three-way primary, won that by about 40 points, and then uh, really hit the ground running. Uh, the main issue I ran on was broadband internet expansion. Mm -hmm. I represent counties that barely have access to the web. Right. And I uh, was very fortunate having run on that and, and, been, and frankly been working on that issue as a commissioner mm -hmm. uh, for years. Uh, the speaker and Representative Carfania, when I came in, said, let's, let's, uh, they were gracious enough to have me uh, join House Bill 2 as a, as a joint sponsor. Sure. And uh, that bill creates the Ohio's first residential broadband expansion program. Mm -hmm. This is uh, targeted grants to reach those difficult to reach, last mile connectivity right. to residential homes, connect those folks to the internet. Um, it's the biggest step we've done in this state yet to really kind of tackle the root of this problem, mm -hmm. which is basically, you know, the private sector has, has served the homes that it makes a business uh, case to serve. Right. What we're left with is the same kind of homes that were hard to reach with water right. and electricity yes. uh, 70 years ago, and we need to kind of tackle internet in the same way. Mm -hmm. And so that bill has now passed the House and the Senate. We're waiting on the governor's signature. Great. Very proud of that bill. Oh, that's awesome. And actually, it's a big issue in our area as well. I mean, uh, uh, any really much of rural Ohio has right. the same kind of problem. And right. 
uh, whether you're in the Appalachian part or in the Great Black Swamp part, uh, it, it's yeah. uh, the same issue as far as. And certainly we learned that this last year uh, with everybody working from home and being away from their office space, uh, how critical it is to have that right. kind of online access. So you're already making a mark in the Ohio House, but then something else happened uh, and uh, your congressional district uh, is uh, going to be vacant with the retirement of Representative Steve Stivers and you've announced a run for Congress. Tell us about it. Well, I love what I do, uh, but when I turn on my TV at night and I see a Democratic Party that is pushing a socialist agenda and they're not even trying to hide it anymore, That's right. uh, defunding the police, D.C. statehood, uh, gun confiscation, mm -hmm. uh, packing the courts, these, these are ideas that you know even they wouldn't have said 10 years right. ago. And now it's just mainstream thought. Part of it. Uh, if we don't take back the House quickly, there's not going to be enough to save. Right. Uh, I'm concerned about our country. I think this is an important time. Uh, we need to take back the House. We need to stop this radical Biden agenda. We need to get back to making America great again. Mm -hmm. And uh, so while I love what I'm doing, you know, the opportunity, um, it would be easier to stay where I am. Sure. Uh, just like it would have been easier for me to stay in school instead of enlist in the Army. Absolutely. Uh, but I have never shied away from a fight. I'm not going to do so now. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to send fighters to Washington, D.C. if we're going to get this country back on track. And that's why I'm running for Congress in Ohio 15. We're off to a fantastic start, 30-plus endorsements across four of, the, four of the 12 counties. I represent five of the 12 counties. Wow. Uh, we, uh, you know, we are working hard every day. And uh, yeah, I'm the only combat veteran in the race. Yeah, sure. And I think that as, as, as uh, you know, our party has looked at where do we go win elections and where do we kind of field our strongest candidates, uh, folks like myself who have been on those front lines and been tested uh, are make for good elected officials, mm -hmm. make for good leaders. And uh, that's the message we're taking and I think voters are responding. I know from your Ohio 78 run that the um, y there's no lack of being able to knock doors, make calls, visit <laughs> right. folks, uh, yeah, yeah. et cetera. I'm surprised you still have shoe leather These on your shoes. These are new, yeah, yeah, I had to, had to get a new pair. <laughs> As a result yeah. of that, so, well that's exciting. You have a short window of opportunity here because of the special elections right around the corner. So, it's a 90 day primary election. Right. I've never heard of a 90-day election, Chairman. So. I'm, I, I'm guessing uh, probably your time overseas uh, taught you how not to sleep very much. So I'm thinking yes. that's probably uh, the, the situation you're I, in. I have used the line before that, you know, when you're deployed for a year in a war, I know now there's nothing I can't endure for a year. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, you know, three months, we'll make it work. You, you can make we'll that make happen then. Yeah. So well, that's awesome. Well, we won't keep you today. We wanted to give the folks uh, back home and, uh, and around Ohio an opportunity to get to know you a little bit better. I want to wish you the best of luck uh, in your campaign. And, um, and uh, I know that you'll put the work in that's necessary uh, to be able to uh, be competitive. And that's yeah. the important part of it. So, uh, And we're looking forward to good things ahead for Representative Brian Stewart. Brian, thanks for meeting with thanks us today. Much, I really Great appreciate it. Thanks appreciate a lot. It. We'll see you next time.